there is all this buzz going around the UAE corporate tax and how is it going to affect the Dubai property market. So what I'm going to do is give you guys five important questions which will clarify everything about UAE corporate tax law and how is it going to affect the Dubai property market. So let's begin. First quick question, what is a corporate tax? Now corporate tax is a tax which is imposed on the net profits of the business annually, which are operating in UAE of course, because this is the UAE corporate tax law. Second, how much will, be, will this corporate tax be? There is no tax if your business profits are less than 375,000 dirhams annually and there is a 9% corporate tax which will be imposed over the business profits of AD 375,000. So it's a corporate tax, your business profits are calculated, revenue minus the expenses, you get the net profit and then you pay the tax or you fall in the category of tax accordingly. From when is this tax applicable? Now in 2022, UAE government had announced that this tax will be applicable from June 1, 2023. But there is a catch. You have two tax cycles. It depends on when your, tax, when your company is falling under that tax cycle. Either it will be in June or it will be in January 2024. So if you fall in January 1, 2024 or a tax cycle comes in January 1, 2024, then technically you will be paying your first corporate tax in 2025. 95% of the companies as per my research will fall under the January 1 category but there are still 5% companies which will fall in June which you will have to check on ministry's website on when are you falling uh, under, the under, under this corporate tax cycle. Fourth important question, who are exempted from this corporate tax? Are you exempted? You need to ask if you are a government entity, you are exempted. If you are a company which is involved in extraction of natural resources, you are also exempted. And very important, if you are a free zone company who qualify for the exemption, then you are also exempted from the corporate tax. Now, qualification for exemption, if I, if I can put it in most layman terms, which I understood, is the companies who are mainly doing the business within the free zone and not with any mainland or the companies in the free zone who are not generating any income from the companies who are there in Dubai's or UAE's mainland. So if you're a free zone company who's working within the free zone or earning, earning income within the free zone or from the exports, you are exempted from the corporate tax. You don't need to pay any kind of tax, which is kind of a normal norm around the world as well. Fifth and the most important question, which is why you are here or I am here as well, is how is this corporate tax going to affect the Dubai property market? The most important question or the most important thing which you need to understand here is that this is a corporate tax, not an income tax. Now, corporate tax is calculated on your business profits and income tax is calculated on your income, personal income. How is it going to affect the Dubai property market? There will be no impact on Dubai property market at all or there will be no impact on your income which you as an individual are earning from your property in Dubai or in UAE. So let's say there will be no corporate tax or no tax which you'll have to pay from the rents you earn. There will be no tax which you'll have to pay from the capital gains which you're making from your properties uh, in UAE. However, there's this one catch which is here. Now let's say if the property is under a business name or if the property is bought as an investment by a business, then if you are earning an income, uh, a rental income or uh, a capital gain which is over 375,000 dirhams, you will be liable to pay the, corp uh, the pay the tax on that income because then it will turn into a corporate tax because that is an income earned by a business, not you as an individual, even if you are the owner of the business. So if you are an individual, that is a separate thing and if the business is earning income from properties then they'll be liable to pay that corporate tax even if it's a foreign company even if it's a uh, even if it's a company which is here of course because the UAE corporate tax is for the companies which are here but even if you're a foreign company you'll still be liable to pay that corporate tax if that property is bought for an investment by a business as individuals you need to be stress-free there is no tax which you are gonna pay on any of the incomes which you're earning from properties which you own in Dubai, even if they exceed 375,000 dirhams. So five important questions. I gave you what is corporate tax? How much is the corporate tax? It's 
from June 1 or January 1. It's applicable depending on your tax cycle. Government entities, companies involved in extraction of natural resources and free zones who qualify for exemption are exempted and there will be no impact on Dubai property market or especially your income as homeowners in Dubai. So feel free buy properties in Dubai it won't have any impact on any of the rental income because it's not a corporate tax again. This is all from my side regarding UAE corporate tax and regarding how is it gonna affect the Dubai property market. If you have any questions put down in the comments if you have any opinions about it put down in the comments as well. If you like this video just hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you so much once again.